Hello everybody! In this tutorial I want to demonstrate the improved functionality to create screenshots and object reports from the loaded objects in Model Converter X. This functionality has been part of the tool for a while already, but I've uh, made it more flexible and added some new functionality in a recent update. Um, so that's what I want to demonstrate to you in this tutorial. I've loaded uh, a library with a couple of objects I uh, made for a scenery project. And uh, using this library, I will illustrate um, yeah, how you can create uh, either an object report, which is a HTML file containing all kind of information about the library, or a set of uh, images from the from the library. Those images you can, for example, use in SBuilderX or in ADE to to show a preview of your objects. So let's get started. Both of these functionalities can be found here on the toolbar. There's a save preview image and an object report button. I will start with the last one. So I click on the button and then I get a form where I can uh, select uh, what I want to generate as an object report. I can create it for the current object only or for all objects in the, in the loaded scenery. Uh, usually that's the better choice. And then I can choose what kind of information I want to print it in the uh, object report. So I can choose whether I want to include an image of the object, I want to show information about the levels of detail, the textures used, the attached objects, etc. And if I include an image, I can select the size of the image as well. I need to select where I want to place it. I'll just put it on my desktop for now. And then I press the Generate button. And you'll see some messages scrolling by. That's because the different textures are loaded while creating the screenshots. And then you get an object report like this. And I'll just jump back. Just to show the effect, I can change the size of the image and I can remove a lot of the additional information if I then generate it again you'll see it reloaded the HTML file I have less information here and I have a smaller thumbnail so I hope with this extra choices that have been added now uh, that it's even easier to create an object report from your library so that's for the object report. Then the next one is for the images. The dialog is relatively similar. Uh, you can choose to create it from the current object or from all objects in the scenery again. You can set the size of the image. And the size of the image is not limited to the size of your monitor. You can even create an image that is bigger uh, than your monitor. I'll show that later on. And you can choose how you want the different uh, files to be named. You can use the GWT, either in FSX or FS2004 format, as the name of your file. You can use the object name and you can use the file name. So the object name is the name that is stored in the MDL file. And the file name is the name of the uh, BGL file that you loaded. And if there are multiple objects, there will be a number added to it to make each name unique. And as a nice feature, you can also make multiple images of the same object at different angles. And well, I'll just show you how it works. Um, let's first create images of all objects. 512 by 512 is okay. And using the F6 quid for the name. So I press generate. Once again, you'll see some messages scrolling by. And I'll just go to my thumbnail viewer. And here you'll see that there are different images created for all the objects in the library. I'll just close this again. I'll delete those images now for the demo and then I'll create them with a slightly different setting. So we'll go back to Model Converter X. Um, I can only do the current objects and well, let's switch to this church, it's a nice one. Um, and I'll show you how it works with the uh, different images at a different angle. We'll use a 30 degree offset in this case. Current object only, I'll do generate. And if I now go back to the folder, you'll see there's a different set of images from my church, each at, diff at a different angle. And if I go through them, you'll see that you can view the object from, from all sides. Uh, this might be useful if you you want to show your object from different angles or maybe even if you want to create some animated GIF or so. And then the last thing I want to show is the possibility to create an image that is bigger than your screen. 
So I'll type in 3000 by 3000 pixels now. Um, we don't use the different offsets and I'll just press generate. And if I now go to my folder, there's one file again. And you'll see it's quite a bit bigger than it was before. And if I now zoom in, then this is like the 100% scale. And you can see that you can get a quite high resolution and sharp rendering of your object. Okay, so that finishes this demonstration of the improved uh, image export functionality and the improved object report functionality of Model Converter X. Um, if you have any questions about it, just drop them on the forum as usual. Thank you for watching.